Hi students, good morning and hearty welcome to Alan's Tutorials. This is the English Literature classes for the students of class 9 and 10 based on the ICAC pattern for the immediate preparation of your board and other examinations. Class is taken by Jos Joseph, Little Flower School, Salembu. Let us begin with the ninth poem, Abu Ben Adam, written by Lee Hunt, 1784 to 1859. Let us understand the poet. Who was he? His full name was James Henry Hunt. He was born on October 19, 1784 at Southgate, England. He was the son of a clergyman. He geared the romantic movement in England. He was a very popular essay writer and died in August 28, 1859. Let us know the introduction of the poem Abu Ben Adam. This poem was published in 1838. Poem celebrates the humanitarian principle of loving fellow men rather than indulging in mere abstract love of God. The focal question is how can we love God whom we do not see if we don't love our fellow men whom we see daily. Let us read the poem first. Abu Ben Adam by Lee Hunt. Abu Ben Adam, may his tribe increase, awoke one night from a deep dream of peace, and so, within the moonlight in his room, making it rich and like a lily in bloom, an angel writing in a book of gold. Exceeding peace had made Ben Adam bold and to the presence in the room he said, What writest thou? The vision raised its head and with a look made of all sweet accord answered, The names of those who love the Lord. And is mine one? said Abu. Nay, not so, replied the angel. Abu spoke more low, but cheerly still, and said, I pray thee then, write me as one that loves his fellow men. The angel wrote and vanished. The next night it came again with a great waking light and showed the names whom love of God had blessed, and lo, Ben Adam's name led all the rest. Main focus of the poem Abu Ben Adam woke up one night from deep sleep. He saw an angel writing in a golden book the names of those who love God. Abu asked the angel if his name was one of them to which the angel replied in negative. Main focus of the poem part 2 Abu requested him to write his name as the one who loved his fellow men. The angel wrote and vanished. The angel returned the next night with the names of those whom God loved. Abu's name led all the rest of the names. You can see the beautiful image in this slide, how the angel is appearing and our, how our Ben is, Abu Ben is looking at the angel. Let us understand the themes of this poem. There are mainly two themes, true devotion to God, which means service to fellow beings 
is real service to God. So these are the two themes that you need to focus. Style and structure of the poem Abu Ben Adam. Form and structure. This poem is written in a parable in words, which means a short story to illustrate a moral or spiritual lesson. This poem has got 18 lines in total of which first 14 lines that is stanza 1 tell about the encounter of Abu with Angel. Last 4 lines, the second stanza, Angel's revelation to Abu. Let us understand the rhyming scheme of this poem. Use the rhyme scheme to add more effect. First line rhymes with the second and the third with fourth, fourth line with fifth, fifth with sixth, etc. We also find the rhyming couplets. A couplet is a literary device which can be defined as having two successive rhyming lines in a verse, two types of rhyming couplets, that is open couplet, that is independent and closed couplet dependent. Then other figure of speech that we find in this poem is alliteration, that is the close repetition of consonant sound and definitely we find a climax when the angel returns and tells the name of Abu as the first one. Let us also understand the critical remarks about this poem. The real Abu Ben Adam, his name was Ibrahim Ibn Adam, also Ibrahim Balki, 718 to 782, a Sufi saint. The moral of the poem is very clear to us, that is, Serving fellow men is much more greater than serving God. And we also find some kind of supernatural element in this particular poem. So that's all as it is a very simple poem. Hope you will uh, understand this poem by doing your own self-study. God bless you. Thank you.